Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and well, welcome to the daily twin, twin flame transmission. I trust that most of you were on Charlotte Sound site last night looking at her twin flame tracks. And if you haven't, um, tune in to um, her channel, be a subscribe. So when she's doing the next one, then um, you'll be able to partake. I mean, if you can, you can do your, you can pay for the check now. It's forty US. That's um, her introductory price, and for that she gives you a mini clearing, and she also looks at your twin flame connection. Okay, she can see very clearly um, whether someone is your twin or not. I only get vague impressions, so I can't tell you guys as yet. I have to continue to practice, right? But Charlotte um, can definitely see the twin flame connection. Um, so it was a great night last night. Amen. Um, before we get into our reading this morning, or I'm going to draw the, the winner of the May free readings from month raffle. So let me just call. We didn't have much um, persons taking part this month. So if you did take part, then you have a great chance of winning. Okay. So let me just stir this up. And I'm going to pick this one that's on top. And the winner of May or May free readings for um, um, a year, sorry. Raffle is Paz. Oh my god, can you see? There, it's Paz. Paz A. So Paz, congratulations, and I will be emailing you and um, formally notifying you about um, your winnings. So let me put that right there so I remember. Let me get this kind of out of the way. I'm gonna put it over here. Uh, okay, cool. So let's get into this, guys. Masculine energy. Let's see what's up with our DMs today. Ooh, they are doing shadow work, people. Yeah, they've withdrawn from the world. They're doing shadow work because. They know that they need to transform if they want to take this leap, leap of faith that they are they are thinking about. They're thinking about this new beginning in love and they think that they want to be successful. But in order to do that, they have to deal with their shadow side. They've got to do it. They really have. And that's why they're in hangman mode at this point in time. Okay? So they're doing shadow work this week. So you, they, they're hermiting. You may not hear from them. What did I tell you? Hangman mode. What do they have to sacrifice to come towards their DF? This is what is occupying their thoughts. Can I deal with the shit that she brings? <laughs> so one card for the masculine. Let's see what's happening. All right. Oh, you see what I'm saying? He's recognizing that he is discontent and bored. Let me get another. No, I'll take. I'll take one from the um, energy oracle. So he's discontent and bored. I'm gonna pull some cards on that. Yeah, he's recognizing, hey, where I am, gotta move. Yeah, she's hopeful. She knows that this is a fated connection. So she is just doing her work and shining. having a bit of inner conflict though because he's taking too bloody long isn't it <laughs> to bring this commitment to her but in the meantime she's on her spiritual mission because she's a natural spiritual teacher she teaches by example actually so this is what's going on with DF a lot of mental conflict here and it's about all about the heart space and this truth the truth that the dm needs to speak to her all right so let's get one card for her okay she doesn't like to be shuffled like this she likes this one and this is what it is he's doing shadow work she's doing shadow work too so both of them are purging a lot there are lots of issues um, with their, their shadow side that they're both confronting. Let me get an energy oracle for both and then 
two cards for the connective energies. People happening now. Clive for the DM. <laughs> yes, I know what that means. Clive for the DM. Okay, so on the DM side, what is he doing? He's discontent on board. He's recognizing that this life that he's living, where he's at, let me just turn this down for a moment. Where he's at, he can no longer continue. It, it's not fulfilling. He feels no pleasure in it. Even the things that used to help him escape, the drugs, the sex, you know, <laughs> drug, sex, power, rock and roll. It's no longer feeding his soul. He's absolutely bored. But those that are bored with their lives, you know, I don't have the mic on. Those that are bored with their lives, they're, they're just really bored with self. They're not balanced within self. It, it means that they've not found self. They're not living their authentic self. And once you're not living your authentic self, then you'll always be bored. You know what I'm noticing today? This guy here, he looks like my guy Rob. Rob looks exactly like this. And Rob is a twin. He's discontent on board. This masculine energy has not stepped into its full power. And that's why he's discontent with his life because he knows that there's something more out there and that's why he's so unbalanced we have yin yang in reverse he's absolutely unbalanced and we have four we have four here we have master number 22 so he's not mastered his emotions he's not mastered his inner world and that's why you may not hear from him because he's trying to rebalance he's trying to go into that temperance energy where both masculine and feminine energies are in balance and right now he is an ego he or has been an ego you know that kind of alpha male kind of thing but now he's recognizing to really have a fulfilling life he has to have that balance of masculine and feminine energies he has to master self master number 22 he has to master self and that's what he's working on mastering inner self she, she's doing shadow work too. She's doing purging too. There are things that are not that are now cropping up that she is confronting. Things with her inner child. Things with her um, response to masculine energy. Things dealing with him in the past. She's confronting this. She's confronting secrets. There are secrets between them. She wants the answers. She's confronting her spiritual gifts. Some of you finally facing them for the first time. Instead of denying that they were there. She's thinking about her DM. She's thinking about how fragile this connection is at the moment. And she's closing off cycles and starting new ones. It's 46. So 10 and 1. But she's also entering into a masculine energy. Really looking at things from a slightly more logical standpoint. 
really thinking that her DM is taking so long to think about everything. Really thinking that it overthinks everything. But she's really looking at this connection. Really thinking hard about it. Really thinking hard about her DM. And wondering. It's almost like a crystal ball, isn't it? And wondering, where do we go from here? How do we bring this connection together? How do we end the secrets between us? End the hostilities between us? How can we speak the truth without triggering each other? How can we get that strength? This is 26, 8. How can we speak the truth without triggering each other? See, sword is raised for both of them. But not only that, it could be that they are cutting karmic cords as well. Because it's not only the sword of truth. It's a sword of fire. It's a sword of fire. It cuts cords. It cuts out what no longer serves. So both of them might be in this energy right now. And not with each other. With persons external. Karmic partners. Karmic family members. Toxic habits. Addictions. I'm really feeling that this is what the masculine energy is doing right now. This is what the masculine energy is doing right now he's faced with a lot of external conflict and he's handling it he is handling it he's taking up that sort of righteousness and he's handling it she she's studying her abundance her spiritual abundance her material abundance and they're all doing that in preparation for when they come together so that they can both be whole and not codependent. They're all closing off codependent cycles with each other so that they can come towards each other and really have a union that will last. All right, so let's get a message from your twin here. Message from your twin. What do they want to tell you? Where well, is a DM DF message from your twin? card <laughs> okay. yeah I know that's what they want to tell you you may not feel like it right now I know I should really throw away these prototype cards because they have so much errors but I love them <laughs> all right so your message from your twin what do you it's a DM or DF I just want you to know, my love, that my love for you is as deep as the ocean. And that's why I'm following my heart. I'm finally following my heart. It's going to take a little while for me to cut karmic cords and close off cycles. But I want you to trust. Trust that I'm balancing myself. Trust that I'm working on my abundance. And it's all in, in an effort to come towards you because I love you. And I'm recognizing that I've always loved you. We have always been together. And that's why I'm closing off cycles. You're my life partner. So that's your twin today. They love you. Deep in their heart, deep in their soul, they know it. Okay. All right, so that was your reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye, and remember, you are made to love, so just love. <laughs>